this. What else? I'll put this. We'll put this here. <laughs> Hello everyone. The stream is live. This is currently the audio test. And eventually video test once I get more things sorted. But yes. I will not go. Carry me home. Na 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 na. Hello, are we on stream? Yeah. Hello? Hello, there we go, I couldn't hear you. There we go. What's up, JT? What, How's it how would it do? What's up, stream? Listen, I know your icon is, I know your name in Steam is Graham Sandwich, right? But your no, icon is not right smaller. now. It is Franklin D. Roosevelt Gaming. I can't believe this. Anyway, you're a s'more. You're not a sandwich. Yeah, I, the, the, the profile picture is the one consistent factor. That's how you can find it. <laughs> <me. laughs> but a s'more is a Graham Sandwich. It's a Graham Sandwich? Is it, though? Graham Cracker Sandwich. I don't know. Hello. Or you could just put a nickname Watch. on me, and then oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I could do that. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, let's see. Let's get into the game overlay. Some buttons and training room for a little bit. Hello, stream. How's it going? Hello, stream. This is now the audio and video test. Please give us some notes tips tricks i say tips and tricks but um let us know what it looks like if it sounds great if it looks great out, get great if it's t t t tell us if anyone's too loud or too quiet truth i know it can be a little quiet sometimes but i think i might have sorted that out no it's not like <laughs> so, yeah we are just waiting to hit four and then we can start. Big yeah. fan of the new stream layout. I think it looks cleaner. Alright, I exist. Hello, yeah, yeah. Hello! Hello, and welcome to Get Great. Welcome to Get Great on Time is actually for real. <laughs> on time? Can't believe it. This isn't even on time, this is early. <laughs> this is early, yeah. This is true, I mean, you're right. That's how I want. Who's playing mm -hmm. today, anyway? Let's see. We got a decent amount of people in the... the thing. We have, like, around... We have like around 20 people, which is actually a lot. Oh my god, oh my that is god. a lot. Yeah, lot. This, this might actually go on for more than an hour and a half. Man. <laughs> what, yeah, I'm used to like the, the... The, the, what's it called? The fluctuating seasons where it's like, I don't know, like eight people sign up. Yeah, <laughs> you... 
<laughs> we haven't had this many in a minute. I think. In quite some time, it seems like. Gonna be interesting I can't to wait to smoke all of you on commentary. <laughs> I'm excited to see everybody excited. play Skullgirl. No, we're playing Skullgirls. Then we can make the lobby. Historic. Technically speaking, it is the highest amount of people that have signed up ever since JT started running it. You know? Oh, man. <laughs> it is very historic indeed. <laughs> oh. Where do you guys have the list of people? Uh, the, the list weekly people? matchup and notes channel. Yes. Oh, it was exactly. just edited? Okay, yeah. Okay, I yeah. see it now. Okay, so... We're just gonna post this in here for now. Currently, the audio video tests will start officially at 4, but if you want to get in here and play some games so we can test the stream a little bit, get in here. So... Look, it's 4 for them. It's like... 12.50 for me. Let's go with yeah. <laughs> But how's it going, everybody in chat? We are testing the audio right now. We'll get started in like eight minutes. It'll be Hydra. Hydra gate. Hydra's game broke this lobby. I can't believe you, Hydra. Did it break the lobby? That's lovely. Amazing. Yeah, it did. Wow. Gotta make a whole new lobby. Thanks, Hydra. I was in the lobby. I'm sorry. This lobby is like the most broken thing ever. <laughs> I really, really wow. wish that um <laughs> if if there's any major changes made, can we get major changes made to the lobby system? Yeah, yes, please. We definitely need that. So I'm like, gosh. like I don't even care about character balance at that point. Can we get lobby changes? Can we, can we get a consistent lobby that doesn't break when somebody reads up? Reads up? Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me get that. Oh, or would someone the follow. the middle of the countdown? Yeah. That's that's the roughest part, because then, like, what do you do? You, Sometimes it freezes you close the thing. You game entirely and relaunch? Pretty much. It's not <laughs> yeah, I have to just, like, like, completely restart the game every time it happens. Don't you could ink it. Oh man. Wow. Ah. I'm and getting grip gripped. Don't get gripped. Oh, that would have been great. Oh my. I tried wow, to change just, the block timing. <laughs> what a bombo. Thank you. Oh, I didn't have I didn't have fireball up. <laughs> That's important. You need fireball. <laughs> this is awkward. Don't punish her. Oh, you don't have the. Thank you. Oh, you, so you need a super jump. That makes it really yeah, I tried to super jump, and then when I didn't get it, I was like, really sad. Ah, you had a. You I tried to, a... I tried to drill, but I was like, oh wait, I'm in the middle of fireball. Yeah, uh, BFF would want that point. Whoa, a nice grab, tech. What the hell? <laughs> he, I, he knew I was going for it again. <laughs> oh, protect oh, not me, that George. Time, though. No, right. <laughs> protect me, George. It's always protect me, George. Oh, that's too obvious. Come on. Yeah, okay. Day one. It's day, oh, day one, one, but I can mix it up. Oh, Hold that. Oh, there it you is. You didn't think I would have mashed there? What? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think I was messing up your inputs. That's what I was really doing. That's oh, God. Big, dead. Big Ben. Now it's easy. <laughs> I'm dead. No, I can't do this. No! Oh! Oh. with the cross up. No! <laughs> yo, yo. This is fine. Okay. <laughs> this, this is fine? Question mark? Oh, I didn't get the grab. I thought I was going to get the air grab. Oh, oh. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, oh yes, wow. Wake up, Luger. No Do fear. it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, oh, are you telling me I thought I was going to get me here. That, that's not that. invulnerable, is it? That's not no, invulnerable. No, it's not. It's got no hit stop. Pre or post flash. That's punchable. Uh, yeah, but I was scared I'm because recovering. I wasn't recovering from an air grab. That's fair. No! Unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
What are you oh doing? my god, he's just jumping and like kicking me. How could you? I'm dead. <laughs> I can't block this. Okay. Hold that. Oh, oh, I'm waiting for it. There's a loser. No. I didn't build the just, beater. You just got the beater then. Oh my god, this is so terrifying. <laughs> Uh. Oh, oh. No! <laughs> what? That's so bullshit! I think I'm fine. Yeah. I don't think I. No, he needs a reset. Oh, that grab would have absolutely worked. No! Let's <laughs> see, look, yo, yo. I told you grab sounds like Peacock. Oh, no, yo yo. I'm dead. Oh You're my dead. god, what a messy You're game. Dead. What a sloppy <laughs> game. You're dead, no. This is what happens when you try to commentate your own match. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> A lot of no. <laughs> hey, people. What's up? How it goes? Again, everybody, this is the video slash audio test. So <laughs> I just know how, what it looks like, what it sounds Hi, like. People. If the commentator needs to be louder than any other, or if the game needs to be louder, uh, let us know. And then we'll fix it for you. Yo, yo. I'm trying this out. Look, I need to get my fingers used. I should just let myself get murdered and just get used to shadowing. Yeah. That's Audio cool. is good. Thank you, Mr. Tyrone Canada. Because I play like this is Valentine. Oh, that didn't reach? Okay. That did not reach. Oh, no. I tried to age drill. Oh, you got oh, hit. I thought, that was, I thought you were blocking. Hmm. Oh no, I do. Oh no, I tried to push block and got stand medium punch. Oh, nice grab. Ah, uh, I tried to crouch heavy punch uh, anti air that. What is Kiko's crouch heavy punch? Uh, it's, it's oh, the, the scorpion, that one, yeah. Scorpion sting move. A commentator, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought there was going to be a refly there. Ooh. Oh my, what an anti-air. I, I, sh <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna get it eventually, okay? You have no fear, yo, -yo. Whee! Look, you can't play scared, Skullgirls. This is, this is how it'd be. It's a fighting. Not a fear game. That's good. Uh oh. This is mid-range, I don't want to deal with mid-range. I, feel, I don't know. I feel like this is like the hardest part that everyone deals with. Like, like, you're, you, you like, mess up your corner pressure, and then oh, you get no. push blocked out, and then like, you end up giving them mid-screen. Like, I feel like everyone falls. I was expecting to catch a Luger, not a jab, but okay. Masher? Oh, well. Oh! Ah, uh, I was trying to bait something out, but I didn't expect the drill. I probably could have PBGC like that. That was fake. What an anti air. Uh, now, okay. Look, same side mid. Nice. I tried to fastball this first. Wow, that works? I did not know that works. Oh my god, that angle. <laughs> I thought I got I thought I got past the age Luger angle. It was geometry, my dude. Look, All right, everybody, look. it's 4 p.m. It's fantastic. Look, we're on time. Look, we only one person here would know about geometry, and that's Graham. And he plays uh <laughs> <laughs> He plays League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I actually, I only, I know about geometry because I, I just took high school geometry in tenth grade. You know what I'm saying? Oh my wow, God. that's fair. You, you, you are a small child. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Oh man, that's amazing.
There's a reason All right, you man, sound welcome. like Peacock. Welcome to Skull... <laughs> oh, no. Welcome to Skullgirls Get Great. Uh, come here, get some advice, up your game, move on to the next level. With me today, I have Yo-Yo and uh, not Franklin D. Roosevelt Gaming, certainly. It's Graham, Damn. who's a s'more. Hello, I'm Graham. <laughs> uh, hi. I hi, am I'm Yo-Yo, I'm the with JP. player. It is, yeah. There's the it's Yo-Yo's the squiggly player, s'more is a s'more player. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> hi, Graham. Thanks. Hello, Stone Mobster. How's your day been? <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're ready to see Skullgirls. Fantastic. Maybe not the best, but you There's know. There's some you know, sort of Nilo in here. I'm sorry, I must kick you, sir. So we're just going straight down the list, right? Going yep. straight down the list. So we got ourselves beginner bracket. We call it a bracket, but it's not really a tournament. Uh, yeah, Ikizul versus Lin Gang. So if you are part of this event today, hop into this dangle lobby link right here. And if uh, Frank got... doesn't know, the, the goal of Get Great is we'll pay your, we'll pay you up against an equally skilled opponent. Well, you'll play yeah. three flat matches, and the commentators will try to give you constructive criticism while you play. Oh, oh, oh so eloquently put. Thank you, thank That's you. Fantastic. I mean, I could just flame you. <laughs> you could well, just flame you me. Could, <laughs> but I won't. That's not constructive. It is not, not constructive at all. <laughs> Fantastic. So we've got, if you're a part of this event today, we've got the Get Great Chat, and, and I think the command is Get Great Chat? GGA Chat? Look, man, the, look, the only thing I'm going to ever flame you for, uh, it, it, for all those listening in chat, is probably your connection and or your hardware. So if, uh, if, uh, this is Izu true. This is true. Ikizul, I don't know how to yeah. say your name. Ikizul. Ikizul. Versus Lin Gang, so they if they are a part of this event uh, today. You are in chat. Uh, Please join the Steam lobby. Hold on. We Steam want to Steam. give them a link. One moment, they say. Uh, we should probably put the Steam lobby in uh the the Discord chat as well for that's convenience. That's also true. I, I will it. eventually phase all that noise out because uh, we need one central location to get things. That's <laughs> okay. Don't worry. No worries. And we are waiting for uh, Lin Gang. Lin Gang. If anyone, oh lord, if anyone's uh, wondering uh, <laughs> how to create a lobby link, um, just do Control C when you're in a lobby. Truth. Pretty good. All right, so today and three now, flat matches. In case you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I see Wi-Fi. Win or loss. <laughs> we see Wi-Fi. Uh, in case, in case you're not aware, in case you're new to fighting games, Wi-Fi is highly not recommended because of how the packet emitted. It's inherently unstable, and thus, it's extremely encouraged that you at least get a power line adapter or, if possible, an Ethernet connection for a wired optimal gaming experience. Indeed. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh poop. Uh, uh, awesome. yeah, you two can, you two can get started, ready up, you can get ready up, yep. and, uh... Ready up, when you're ready up. And, uh, while you're playing, please do pause the stream, because having a stream in the background does lag your game, especially if you're on Wi-Fi, so... That is true. Make Even sure to pause so your stream. That's just more packet loss, nobody wants that. Yep, make sure to pause the stream. The VOD will instantly be up in the Twitch videos section, so you can look back on your matches when you're done. So make sure to pause the stream while you're playing. A JP, how's oh. it feel to be the new teacher? I mean, I've been teaching people for for a long time, so I don't know. If it feels JP taught good. me. <laughs> Hello, Mister. Get some. How uh, you what doing? do you think these two play? Nah, I, I mean, oh. let's see. Normally, when I when I see beginners, I I would say playing you you playing solo is probably just the best way because you only have to focus on learning one character, but you can play whatever I, you. I personally, I personally recommend duo, so you, so you at least get used to team mechanics. I could see that. That's fair. That's, both are very valid. Seems like Ikizu is a misfortune. And then Lingang, Peacock. Ah yes, a new sunset. A new sunset. Uh, Let's do one, it. So, one, one's playing the sunset shell, and one is playing one of the strongest teams in the game. Indeed. <laughs> okay, so, so from Lingang, we have an, an inherent understanding about zoning. Uh, Want to be full screen as Peacock? Get out of there. Toss some bombs. 
Understandable. Okay, we got Interesting. some zoning. We got, we got two cats. Oh, uh, be extend. Ah, uh, I see. Was that a uh, Alex or Emmett culture grab? That looked like that's M. M. That looks like M. That's a birthday. But I'm not sure. I only saw it once, and I wasn't really paying attention. You want to tell the audience how to tell that difference? <laughs> well, I would, but it's not really cute? important right now. <laughs> So one of the first things I notice is about mm -hmm. Izukul is that uh, they're not really push blocking a lot. Push blocking uh, just really helps in general when you're playing the game. It helps give it helps uh, make it your turn when you're blocking, and it pushes the opponent away. So you don't really have to hold like a really un a really safe block string. So in general, when you're starting out the game, just remember to push block a lot. More push block is better when you're starting out the game, and you'll learn about more nuanced situations as you get better. So in general, just try to push block when you're blocking. Yeah, push block in general will just end pressure on you pretty yeah. fast. Pretty fast. You'll, you'll stay in the Same blocks. Same thing goes for lane uh, game. You know, both these players don't seem very yeah. comfortable push blocking. Yeah. Kind Might I recommend is, uh, learning how to block getting a first. B and D for all of your characters? Ah, huh. truth. Oh uh, yeah, we can B &B. talk about that after this match is over. The B and yeah. D classic. The good old. B &B. Oh, oh, oh. Hit those buttons. The robo jab is not so bad. But we seem to have a general understanding oh. of just, you know, pressing buttons in the opponent's face. Yeah. Trying to create pressure. So that's good. Linking is very conservative. conservative. Just noting how they play there. We'll say maintaining distance and spacing. Which is not bad, actually. Like, if you, if you start off learning how to be patient, it's, it'll serve you in the long run. For sure. I mean, like, nice. Let's go punish. I get like the distinct feeling one of them has come from another fighting game. Oh yeah. And like they kind of get the gist of neutral, but they don't know their combos. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we got a combo going on. Oh. Ba -ba -ba and then you get mad. Unfortunate. Okay. But yeah, That's pretty good Jay. start from both players. Good, good, good understandings. You love to see it. Uh, yeah, it's push block a, is just uh, while you're blocking uh, any two punch buttons at the same time. Uh, and it sets your uh, block stun to 25 frames, but uh, yeah. that's, we can that's worry about frame data later. Movies. Like frame data is too comp. I think frame data is like you don't really need to know about uh, that. Uh, that's for that's for starting. intermediate. <laughs> yeah. Easy calls from Dragon Ball Fighters. I see. Yeah. Okay. That makes so they, sense. they've had experience with some other fighting games and stuff. So they they come from uh, DBFC. Uh, so they have. Uh, a general understanding. Just they're also wondering how how you transition from a three D fighter to a two D fighter, especially DBFC, where it's not about combos and mostly about neutral and trying to get in. Uh, where this game is super reset heavy, um, so it's like getting in, doing the combo, and then just dropping it intentionally. It's very different. It is very dropping different. intentionally in your favor. <laughs> yes. Because uh, you're stacking the deck as as uh, much in your favor as you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're making it ambiguous. Look, if you don't think uh, that's messed up, uh, that reset probably wasn't very good. Yes. <laughs> but um, something else I noticed from these players is uh, when you're kind of uh, pushing buttons on them and they're blocking, you tend to end your uh, block strings and heavies or specials, and those are that's usually not preferable because. They can. It's often punishable, so just try to end your block strings with uh, mediums, because yeah, if you impossible. go into heavies, it it can be punished oftentimes. So that's just something you gotta keep in mind. Where when the opponent is blocking, you generally don't want to go into a heavy button or a special. Like uh, I can see Ling Gang doing a H Fang on Peacock, yeah. which is very unsafe on block. Yeah, for for so you just try to break out of that habit. Punch. Um, no, something no, I do no. notice from both of them. Uh, I don't think they know what uh that you get uh one OTG per combo. Ah, yes. Because like I, I noticed a lot of blue bounces uh not being teched, um and purple yeah. bounces not being comboed off of. Yeah, uh, teching is a pretty big part of this game. So when you bounce on the ground, you can press a button to tech out, and you should almost always be using that unless you feel like you're in the corner, and. Uh, for the most part, you should just be teching out. Not teching like a nuance that you don't really need to worry about right now. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll worry about uh, teching, uh, reducing on dizzy by half later. <laughs> yeah, just try to. Just... 
And similar to the vein of not ending your block strings in heavies, you should be trying to start your block strings with lights. Because yeah. they're the fastest button in the game. So you should just be pressing a light button when you're in their opponent's face and not a medium or a heavy. Ooh, well, level three. Oh, man. Yeah, when you're a beginner, it's always lights. But there are a few mediums that are really fast that you can afford to poke with. Yeah, That's but true. for the most part, it's lights. I saw a spike there. Ooh. Was that just me? Yeah. No, it no, was, was, it was, was a little spike. rough, but it's it's a low. It's fine. Out of the rubble fortune. You gotta be careful about those rock tanks, cause like uh, what Ban just did earlier, you can get immediately punished with just. With you the, get punished, the and uh, if and if you had any recoverable life, you lose it. Yes, that's not fun. You want your characters to heal when you tag out. Yeah. Um. If you're wondering to t uh, how to tell if you have uh, any recoverable health. Uh, there's a red portion of your health bar. Yeah. That signifies uh, if you're if you're currently tagged out, how much you would recover over time. Oof. Oh, a little bit of patience. We got swept. Unfortunately. Yep. And those kind you of know, things. If, I kind if, of wish the red heart was back. <laughs> if there's a good amount of space between you and the opponent, you know, you could maybe, and your light won't reach. Maybe you can, you know, press a medium or a heavy, like Yo Yo was saying, and that mm. would be like facing at footsies. But that's kind of uh, that, that's that's above the the skill bracket right now. So right now, you know, just press media, just press lights in your opponent's face, and try not to end your block strings on heavies, mm -hmm. and you can usually start to open up your opponent like that. Or if you know you're playing a zoner, you try not, you cut, you're trying to just maintain distance and run away, like Lin is, or I think Lin was playing Peacock. Yeah, pretty sure Lin was playing Peacock. There's no PvP plus KKK moves in Kokos. Yeah, there's there's no like triple P's or triple K moves in this game. It's probably oh one God, too many that. picks to add just to Skullgirls. <laughs> <laughs> but like we said, once this game is over, we can start talking these. Yeah. Or this set is over, I should say. Uh, nice punish from the teleport. Uh, my okay, suggestion for Lin is uh, <laughs> get used to knowing what your, what your specials are because you're kind of fumbling trying to figure out what your bombs are. Yeah, yeah. Just that, that's just comes with matchup. Else. It just comes with experience of your character, you know, knowing what buttons to press. Yeah, it, it, it it's not like they... something you can pick up immediately. For sure, yeah. It looks like they they know the conversion from grab to Argus, but it's just a little bit slow on the input. That's fine. I mean, so I'll, 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 and you you, you always have to remember, you know, the, the it's a this strategy is a fighting game like any other, and requires yeah. mechanical uh, execution. Yeah. That just takes practice. <coughs> uh, right now, it appears uh, Ling Ying is just spamming H lock and load, which can be a very <laughs> strong move against opponents that don't really know how to punish it. Uh, so, yeah. While it might work now, I wouldn't recommend just doing it over and over again. I would not recommend spamming it because uh, yeah. it is punishable. Uh, uh, against better but, players, they will punish it. But it is safe if you happen to wish block it. Oh, it was the patience. Counter hit. We're pressing buttons. Oh, they know Lin the knows the, the, they know the conversion. Conversion pick up. Okay. So it seems like they, they've seen a couple of things that will probably resonate. Yeah, the both these players play. probably have like watched people play the game or or, I don't, or maybe like just looked at the wiki and stuff. Okay. Which is good uh, dil due diligence. Oh. I'm glad Ikuzo understands the uh, the basic strategy of run in behind beam. <laughs> run it makes me happy. Uh, uh, each character has a different game plan that they want to execute, and depending on like your assists and who you're against, it changes a little bit. But the the general plan is the same. So you know, uh, yeah. poke, see what other people are doing, and just see what feels good, and then you can go from there. Yeah. But uh, thank you for playing. The yes, three flat well played, are over. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. So I think Next for the time most we're... part, it's it seems like there's there's like some echoes of a B and B there that that haven't completely been burned into uh, muscle memory, and some conversions that you may have seen before or have attempted on your own, and they seem to make sense, and that's pretty good. Um, so for any character like questions that you have, you certainly ask us. We will also direct you to was it exclamation mark wiki 
This is the most current and up-to-date version of bombos and combos that you want and or need for your specific character. You just need to scroll down and pick your character, and then you'll get what you need for them, uh, which is really yeah. cool. It's a very nice resource. What, what JP just linked so nicely in the chat is the Mizumi Wiki. It has almost everything you need to pick up your pick up any character you want to play, and it'll tell you about their buttons, their neutral, and the combos, yeah. of course. And so Oops. the most important thing beginners to learn is a, a BMB, a bread and butter combo, where you'll be, you're generally just trying to do a max full undizzy, a 240 undizzy combo, which gives you the most damage and helps you learn all the different uh, ways buttons interact with each other on your character. And it'll just, not only will it greatly improve your damage every time you get a hit, but you can start to learn how to convert from stray hits in neutral. So learning a BMB is the most important thing, and they'll be on uh, exclamation point in BMB, I believe. Yes. Uh, cool. And the combos listed here aren't the best, but they are definitely helpful in getting you started and learning how to play your character. So everyone should be trying to focus on the combo from the two from their character's two LK, or if you're playing like Peacock, I guess that would be five LP. But everyone should be trying to learn their character's uh, BMB if you're a beginner. That is the most important yeah. thing. Also, kind of the other big thing when you're practicing characters is that. Um... You, your sequence normally starts from light punch to medium punch to heavy punch or light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, or any kind of combination of thereof. Um, there are some people who can reverse beat, like Parasol, who can go from heavy to light to medium or things like that. But um, you normally general you generally follow that line of execution. But yeah, just generally, just try to uh, learn the BNB and the way you know that you can kind of. Uh that you've mastered it is if you can do it maybe like three or four times in a row on both sides so on player one side and on player two side yeah but we've uh, talked in let's get the, the next people in here Graham, yeah. would you say uh 5 lp and 2 lk would you like to explain anime notation to them oh for ah. sure so anime notation when we have uh, so what's commonly used in the fighting game community is if you look if you have a numpad on your keyboard you can see uh, it goes from one to nine. And generally speaking, when we were talking directional inputs, everyone in the community will use the numpad to reference the direction from player one side. So when we say five LP, we're talking, you're holding your stick in neutral, so you have no directional input and you're pressing your light punch. And then when we press, and we say two LK, it means you're holding your stick down and you're pressing light kick. So that's your down light kick or your crouching light kick. And generally speaking, that's how anime input is or anime fighting game notation input is read. And when we have specials, you have things like quarter circles, which would be notated as two, three, six, or down, uh, down, forward, forward, and then that would be a quarter circle forward, and that's how it would be notated. Yeah, I still use a ring telephone. Nice. <laughs> two, three, six, six, two, three, two, one, four. Uh, um, we have Digi Sora in here. Uh, who else are we waiting on right now? Uh, let's see. We are waiting on uh, was it Messenfi? Messenfi? Something like that. Uh, <coughs> so I can ping them in the get quick because I saw them talk earlier. Uh, server Messenfi. Uh, can we at Mess Messenfi? All right. Oh, that's, that's them whoa. right now. That's that's Digisaur. That, that's what they are. <laughs> okay, oh, then, then we're waiting for uh, Dilly D. Yeah, we're waiting for Dilly D. Yes, they're trying to get into the Discord right now. It looks like. Let's see. Fantastic. Okay, so now we need. Uh, yeah, Dilly D, you're up right now. Here is the lobby link. I'll also post this in the heck and get great Steam chat thing. We'll eventually do away with. JP, what's the process for com becoming a commentator? What's the what? Uh, sorry, the what was Doc is asking for uh, the process the of becoming regime. a commentator? Uh, okay, I will answer that after the stream. This is stream. <laughs> Fantastic. In case you're new here and this is your first time playing, we're just doing three flat matches. It's not tournament style. We're just wanting to see how you play and we'll make some comments and give you advice on what to do uh going forward make sure to turn off the stream while you're playing because uh that will improve the connection 
And you can always look at the VOD right after the, the set ends by yeah. clicking on the, the channel and going to videos. I'll commentate, but only when Band is on the screen. <laughs> I don't know if I don't think... <laughs> only when Band's on screen. <laughs> I mean, by, by that logic, uh, I should only commentate when Squiggly's on screen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That's fantastic. So, do the D when you're ready. Just ready up and get these matches going. Trying to find y'all's just name in the user list. That's right. It's a B. But yeah, right now we're just waiting for the players to ready up. <laughs> when is it? Oh shoot. Oh no. Yeah, no. You'll always be a parasol player at heart, Dunce. Graham, I sound so professional. Thank you. That's because I am a professional. <laughs> Unlike certain people. Not throwing any shade to anybody in particular. I mean, someone's uh, been taking their public speaking classes. Thank you, thank you. Say something <laughs> professional. Uh, Dilly D, it's your turn to play. Uh, please ready up at your earliest convenience, which is hopefully right now. Yeah. And then please turn off the stream afterwards. <laughs> Indeed. And please do turn off the stream, or at least pause it uh, while you're playing. Yeah, pausing should also be uh, pretty good. Ba -ba -ba. Can Dilly hey, you're ready, Is Dilly there? Hit that. Is Dilly there? Do they um... exist? Hit your ready button. With your input I, I of choice. The there we go. Maybe they don't know how to ready up. I mean, they got through navigating the stream. That'd be pretty interesting <laughs> if they managed to get here without, uh. Yeah. Without um, knowing how to press a light punch. Or light kick. <laughs> also true. Either work. All right, I'm betting on at least one solo band today. Oh, there's a Beowulf. There's the band as well. Oh, Fukua. Did someone? Oh man, round start. It is That's uh, a definitely very risky round SPGs. start option, and I would not recommend it like ever. A little too early on that a wolf shoot. And again, a lot of the same advice that we said for the last match still applies here. You know. Making sure to end your block strings and lights or mediums and not going into heavies because okay. they're punishable and starting oh. them with lights. We got the funny on disease. Okay, so we understand does, a little bit about Does he actually know these? Hype mechanics. Close, it seems like. Alright, bless your combo. Ah, uh, it's just the pickup. Okay. It seems like it seems like they know, but uh it's the consistency that, that they need. Dilly D seems really uh, comfortable just doing combos and trying to go for like resets. They seem to understand all the basics. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. And Honestly, I would say they're see. probably just ready for intermediate at this stage. Because they seem to understand all the basic mechanics of this SG. Oh? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. That's actually it's not a bad idea to be using symbols. And we know the conversion. Okay, nice. Didn't um, even need to SSJ off that. Uh, for Digisora, uh, you seem to have an okay idea of how to play the Fukui neutral, where or, you know you're pressing jumping heavy kick, which is like her big dominant button. It's pretty hard to pun. It's hard to punish, and you know it, it, it makes it your turn pretty much whenever you whenever the opponent blocks it. But uh, you have you playing Fukui. A lot of it is just um, you know trying to keep up the pressure. And you, so I would recommend just like learning how to um, like chain jumping hard kick into itself or learning how to press lights after jumping hard kick ground lights. And that's a great way to keep up pressure and it forces your opponent to kind of like push block and respect you. Let's but, not forget a uh, jump heavy kick into fireballs. 
Yes. We have a little Switch. We're not playing Valve. Switch. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, who wants to explain land cancelling? Uh, JP Fantastic. can do it. Land cancelling. Okay, so if you want to be able to stop this madness where, where he's just up jumping forward and uh, pressing the heavy punch button, if you jump at them and then hold block, this is called something called uh, chicken blocking, it'll, it'll force you to the ground when you're blocking, right? And it'll cancel all of your landing frames, which means you can press a button as soon as you land. So... It's, it kind of goes hand in hand, called chicken, it's like land cancel, chicken blocking, chicken blocking, land cancel kind of thing. So, as soon as you're guarding, you hit the ground, all of your landing frames are canceled, so you, so you can press a button out of guard. See, this is how so you what, jump So really what you should be doing window. is you should be up backing, and then you should be, uh, and press then once button. you block, and then you press the ground, you press a ground jab or a, a ground button. And you, yes. you have enough frames, because you're, all your block zone was canceled, to beat it mm -hmm. out. And that's what a land cancel is. Yeah. Although, uh, in the case of Beowulf, if he spaces it properly, it's really hard to punish uh, if he uh, does that at max range. Yeah. Oh, wow. Level 3. We tried to level 3. We're blocking. Okay, good. Grab for punish. Interesting. Um, but in general, besides looking for land cancels, which can be very tough if you're a beginner, uh, just push blocking will uh, keep I make it a lot easier to play against Beowulf, or yeah, any character in general. True. Just remembering to push block in neutral. You know, a lot of the advice we give in beginner is just ap applicable to everyone. Where you know, push blocking more, push blocking more is almost always good, yeah. and it'll help you out in every single situation. There's other, also other ways to approach uh, jumping buttons like that, but uh, probably for intermediate stuff that you would need to uh, don't want to understand. Your character's buttons oh. and options well, that they have. I would say, but, uh... I would say, uh, oh, Digi Sora had a good idea with the yeah. with the uh, BFFs call out, or you know they're using yes. an invincible move to call out the mm -hmm. button where, where it's vulnerable, and that can be a yeah. great way to beat out uh, opponents who are just pressing buttons on you because your move is invincible. That's a and good so idea. Knowing, like, using H bomb. Mm -hmm. And this is another big part of Fuku Neutral, where you're trying to zone out your opponent with uh, fireballs. But generally speaking, besides using ground fireballs, uh, using your fireballs in the air, it usually has a better angle. So, a big big parts of Fuku Neutral, I would say, are pressing jumping heavy kick when your opponent's trying to approach just like that. Excellent use of jumping like heavy that. kick. Yeah. And uh, pressing air fireballs, or ground fireballs, if the situation demands it. But generally, air fireballs are better. But yeah, that was a great use of jumping heavy kick there where you caught the bayo on his um, approach. Yeah. So you should continue to look down. for situations like that. Yeah. And now, oh. I mean, this is a really rough situation where uh, he's just pressing buttons on you and you're in the corner and you have to hold the pressure. Oof. Backwards hitbox. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you don't want to be in the corner in any fighting game, especially Skullgirls. Oh. And that is dead. Penguin? That is Penguin. Fact, dead. Penguin. Yeah. But I would say uh, Dilly D is probably ready for intermediate. Yeah, they, they yeah. seem like on the um, lower end of intermediate. Uh, so <coughs> yeah. We'll probably move you up into there for next week. Just decide to join again. Just need to clean up, uh, what's it called? Um, combos there for Dilly. Yeah. Yeah, for Dilly, it's definitely just combo cleaning up. Because, like. But they, there were there were just uh, there were just unintentional drops in, instead of just resets. Yeah. Like not picking up off OTG, that kind of stuff. But it seemed um, like they had a good handle the team. But yeah, Digi had a good idea of how to start playing neutral, you know, pressing jumping heavy kick, and then they started zoning with fireballs in that last game. Mm -hmm. So just keep doing that and once you once you feel more comfortable with Fuku, you know, especially after learning her BMB. Because I we could I could see that you know you weren't very comfortable doing a full combo yet, so once you do that you know you're you'll feel a lot better playing Fukua in neutral and just like converting from the jumping heavy kick hit because you you can get the hit but if you're ultimately not you know doing the combo after it what does it matter? Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, for our but, next uh, match we got uh, Rudsman versus Kumbra and I saw them speak in the uh, get grade. Steam chat. Umbra. 
So if you'd like to join the lobby, there is the lobby link. You can just click on that in the Twitch chat. It should send you directly to Steam, and then Steam will proc Skullgirls to put you into this lobby. You can certainly paste it into your browser. And there they are. Hey. Oh, man. We have the world here. We got South America. I said they were Europe. <laughs> Rudsman. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, I'm scared for both of them. So is this is a little. So this doesn't usually happen, but we sometimes have some people from other sides of the world paired up to each other. You have to be very specific about where you're from. <laughs> but normally we get a lot of European players, but uh, not many South American players. <laughs> so had I known. I'm actually scared for both of their connections. Yeah. Like, the rollback's good, don't get me wrong. But, like, there's only so much it can do. Alright, we got Bella and Pain with the Bella. We got two. <coughs> we have a okay, we understand tick throws. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, okay. Oh, that was a fat spike. Oh, yeah. That was another one. But we'll have, we're gonna have to endure it for now. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to endure it. We, I, I definitely had I known he was a uh, not. Do we want to try to split these two up? So we might, we might, depending on how the connection is, we'll we'll, we'll split these two up. It doesn't seem to be too great. Um, for both these players, the the same advice for the other beginners go where. You should be generally trying to start your uh, block strings and lights and Old ending lights. them with mediums. Yep. You know, both these players are starting like, their block strings with either heavies or ending them in heavies, neither of which are good. So you should be... Only if you see the opponent get hit with your light or your medium should you go into the heavy. And that part of that's just reaction and like muscle memory. And it can be tough to do, but... With enough practice, you can get it. <coughs> with enough practice, you can do it. And now we're just kind of seeing neutral here. Yeah. Get the Bella, the Bella things happen. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're playing Bella, generally speaking, your go-to pokes are gonna be crouch, light kick. Um, and if you're looking to approach from the air, jump medium punch. If you're looking to stuff someone from approaching you, jump heavy punch is the button. Yeah. Uh, and if they're jumping in at you, stand light kick is your anti-air. Yeah. Alright, well, they queued up, so I guess we'll just keep these two together for now. Sorry about the connection, but... Yeah, yeah connection this looks rough. Is, uh, seems rough. I, I swear there's some inputs being eaten here. I, I can for sure. believe it. But, yeah, Jen, the, the, the biggest thing for both these players is, like, trying to not, not use heavy buttons in neutral. Because, I mean, there, there are certain times when they can be good, but... For the most part, you know, heavy buttons in neutral are never really your go-to. So yeah. I would just refrain from doing that and try to stick to mediums and lights. Oh, and for the love of God, please don't end on a DP. <laughs> yeah, ending up, I mean, ending your string in either I, heavies or... I saw metal. a couple times where a block string was being ended on devil horns. It's, uh, it's a little spooky. <laughs> there, there really are just some moves in the game where if you do them, you're just asking to get hit. Uh, For sure. Usually yeah. not recommended to perform them, like DPS. Works in SF five. I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're not all Ken players, okay? <laughs> no, we're just stuck. And I mean, no, again, the same thing goes. Oh, sorry. Were you saying something? No, yeah, no, no. That's, that was it. Uh, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe we should we should probably explain uh, what that snap did. So against a solo player, um, uh, normally speaking, uh, when you're in a team, you have recoverable health, right? Uh, solo player is allowed to recover some of the, some of that health by snapping their opponent. Uh, if the team, if you snap a solo character, all the recoverable health goes away. 
And you can tell what health is recoverable by the red bar next to their actual health bar. So if you're playing a solo, the all the red health will be recovered, or two thirds of it will be recovered when you hit your opponent with a snap input, with a an outtake or a snap. And if you're playing th anything that's not a solo, your red health will slowly be recovered as your character is in backup. So that, that that's the general concept of red health in this game. You have health that's permanently lost, and then you have health that's recoverable, either through snaps or by putting your character in backup, depending on if you're solo or a duo and trio, respectively. Yeah. Um, and these snaps uh, cost one meter, by the way. Uh, normally speaking, what they're what they're uh, usually used for is uh, for forcing another another team's characters uh, in. Um, that was a good punish by uh, Rudsman, where uh Kiambra did uh did um battle butt which is unsafe on block or you know you can press a button after it and they would, you can punish the opponent and so they punish with their own button and that was a good punish so that's generally like the main reason why you don't actually want to end your strings or do these big heavy buttons in neutral because if the opponent blocks them you'll get punished for it yeah. level three that's oh no the character. only low hitting super longer. in the game <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Maybe that'll get rectified in balance patch. Oh, we, got, we, have, we have a beginning of a combo. That's the beginning of a combo. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Again, learning your combos <laughs> and getting comfortable with them is the most important thing you can do. Uh, again, exclamation point, BMB in the chat. So everyone should be trying to learn their own character's BMB, get used to it. Yeah. And once you learn your BMB and you can do it consistently, then you'll feel a lot more comfortable just playing your character in neutral and doing combos with them. And it's it's the be it's the best practice you can get besides... Or I would argue it's the best practice you can get as a beginner, just learning your character's BNB. Yeah. But uh, thank you for playing. And beyond, who do we have beyond the Beyond that one, the wiki is also very good for familiarizing yourself with your character and their kind of movesets. Uh, if you want to dive into frame data, because that's a very deep hole that you can get into, you can certainly do that. Depends on where you want to take yourself. Uh, so now we have the next matchup here. We got ourselves Skelebro and Infernal Baby. I don't know Baby could be Infernal, but you know. You learn something new every day, JT. This is a lot <laughs> we're getting. We're, see, they, we might be helping people get great at SG, but they're helping us oh. get great at life. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> kind of spitting. Yeah. Alright, and on that note, I'm gonna go get uh, some water, so I'll be right back. Okay. While we wait for these uh, two new people to get in the lobby. Skelebro, I'll just put this in the air. There's Skelebro. Yeah, it's Skelebro. Baby. And Infernal Baby. Oh. Ah, yes, both European. Yes, so this should be okay. I know those two were definitely European. <laughs> yeah. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated? Oh, uh, it's okay. I've got juice <laughs> right next to me. Oh, great. Got it. Maybe you need one of those Twitch things where it's like uh, spend some points to, to, to do a thing. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so if I did, I'd help you out with that. Yeah, I, I might. It might just be like some sort of setting in uh, Moobot or something. Probably. Uh, whenever you guys are ready, just ready up. First, okay. so definitely hit the ready up button. Both of y'all ready? Let's go. Depending on your input choice. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Remember to hydrate so you don't dehydrate. Truth. Very true. Man, I, I want to see if I can get Skullgirls to run out of TI-86. Probably. I, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, I guess the most you would have to worry about is is the size of Big Band double and was it Eliza? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, that's a lot of bands. Hey, remember how I called Solo <laughs> Band at some point? <laughs> Oh man, went straight uh, for the. Uh... Okay, I'm oh. going to say raw tag. Yeah. yeah. 
the, we're, we're playing every match right now. It's not the time to play a song. I'm sure you can play a song just fine, but... Oh, man. There's not much cheer. Appreciate it. Uh, I think we've mentioned this before, mm. but um, you only get one OTG per combo. Like, there are uh, ground bounces, I guess, but those are, those are yellow bounces. Yeah. Uh, you typically get one. It's a, it's a purple bounce. If it's blue, it's techable. Mm -hmm. Okay, it seems like both of these seem to be on the inter intermediate side of, of the game. Yeah, they, they know their combos. Yeah, that it seems like, like they have anyway. a good grasp and understanding of what's going on. I was a blue bounce. That wasn't so that real. Was not real. Yeah, it's not real. Oh, it's a little answer. Uh, so, uh, Doc, the green bounce means it's um the the te the uh what's it called the the move is a lot harder to OTG off of. Uh, there's like a, a really short OTG window for it. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome back. Oh, I see we've played one game. We played one game. They seem to be on the intermediate side of the I see, the I see. Tours. So they have a good grasp of uh game mechanics. It's like That's good, that's good. I mean in the end, as long as they're evenly matched, that's all that really matters. That's true. They're they're fairly even Oh, oh man. no the yeah yeah. Doing doing the yeah yeah. So cer certain Correct. moves, uh, like like uh, jump hard kick from Ban, are kind of ridiculous in nature. Um, they're good for converting off of uh, prior to it, but kind of doing it in neutral kind of leaves you open to getting punished. Yeah. Uh, again, Wait a like minute. Said. This man has uh, this man has uh, clarinet loops. That's true. Uh, in the corner, <laughs> they're not too bad. For sure. Wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. yeah. These players are definitely. <laughs> Like, um, they, they have a good grasp of their characters, and the, they're VMBs, you know? Okay, they... Nice grab. Swiggly combos are a go. That's the standard corner combo, yep. Oh, we already used sound stun, though, so it, it doesn't become a real combo at that point. Oh, could have finished uh, well, the combo. Since we're since these players are on the intermediate side, we can talk a little bit about uh, defensive options. So, you know, each character has their own slew. Or lack thereof of defensive options if you're Valentine. True. And knowing well, what they had are, some. They're not good. <laughs> yeah, knowing what they are and knowing what your opponent has is really important. So, uh, when Infernal Baby is in the corner, it seems like they're kind of. Oh. Uh, is this this is the Star That's Wars? That's a requiem. Theme, That's a Star Wars. Theme. Uh, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, oh. I see. the game lagged. The on the last should we? <laughs> should we have had a seizure warning? <laughs> oh no! Oh god, my eyes. <laughs> but uh, knowing your defensive options can be really important. So when Infernal Baby was in the corner as Squiggly, they seemed to be like struggling, you know, trying to defend themselves against Ban. And it's not easy defending yourself against Ban, especially like when they're when they know what they're doing and they know each of their buttons. But mm -hmm. um. I think uh, there was one moment when uh, Infernal Baby got counter hit by a jumping light kick, and I th I'm I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think they were pressing grab on wake up, and pressing grab on wake up is probably one of the riskiest defensive options, universal defensive options, and I would almost never recommend it. Uh, if you yes. think the opponent's gonna ground grab you, you should just generally jump up. Yeah, you should never be pressing a uh, grab on wake up. No, grab grab on wake up is is not meaty. And when we say meaty, it's uh, like you're putting out a hitbox that the opponent can't exactly escape from. Uh, ground and grab, not really a thing like that, so it's almost better to just jump it and then punish. You should always be jumping, yep, if you think your opponent's gonna grab. So that's just something that uh, Infernal Baby can just kind of work on. If they. But in general, Squiggly is one of the characters that really struggles with defense in this game. Yeah. Her only yep. uh, invincible reversal is level three, and I, and Daisy is not a good reversal, so you should never be doing Daisy on defense. Yeah, yeah uh, it's more of an intermediate thing, but uh, Daisy Pusher can be beaten by almost every character in the cast for an equivalent cost of meter. Yeah. 
Uh, that was a good her idea. only actual reversal requires her to have punch charge. And I don't know why, but everyone seems to forget it exists. But uh, she does, in fact, have a DP. Did An actual oh, that is punch. I forgot about it. I'm assuming the reason people don't think it's that great uh, is because of the the uh, startup of it. It's like she uses the punch charge and then like full DP happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right there, by the way, when you did that sing Infernal Baby, you could have gone into Daisy Pusher, and that would have beaten out the brass. And that's yep. just a character knowledge thing. And the reason mm -hmm. it works is because the Daisy does give you invul in invulnerability frames, and, you know, the band would get grabbed while he's doing his ground move. Yeah, because it would have just slid right into the grave. Yep. Does Gregor lose to Daisy? Grounded Gregor does lose to Daisy. Air Gregor does not. Yeah. <laughs> that's Air Okay. It it, it becomes really sad when uh, Gregor is super close to the ground. You don't know which one it is. I yep. think I, I think uh, if Ilya is doing a ground normal and you PBGC uh, Daisy, she can like do DP on reaction into Gregor, and that would yeah. probably beat it. That is true. That is exactly it. As long as she's not doing another special. Yeah, as long as she's not doing uh, airball. Even then, I think you could do Fenrir, be safe, and recover before Daisy. Interesting. I did not know that. I think so. Yeah. Don't don't quote me on that one though. I could see that. But for Where the most part, these uh, as Squiggly, your defensive options just are generally the universal ones. Besides, for when you have like punch charge DP, I guess you just have to kind of hold uh, guests on if they're going low or high, or if they're going to yeah. go throw, then you would jump, and you have to try oh, to push block them out. Next, we right, have. So we got the next match going on. Corners. Uh, so thank you, Skelebro and Infernal Baby, for playing. Uh, so let's get the next two people in here. Please leave the lobby. Yeah, please leave the lobby so we have enough room for the next two people. Or you get the boot. Yeah, or you get the boot. You know, I don't know. whichever one oh, it splits your vote. Boot. Like... <laughs> oh no, they're getting the boot. <laughs> so we have Pete Cone versus Jejutsu. Jeyutsu? Jeyutsu. Oof. Words. They're up next. Oh. One's ready. A Jeyutsu in here already. Oh, man. Oh. There's the other one. Damn, that that is a classic profile picture. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. They're ready to go. Hit that button. I'm quite interested to see who they play. Oh, yes. Let's see. Jade Sukaisen. It's pretty good. So, Pecan plays Parasol. And Fuku Squiggly. A solid duo, actually. Oh, Fuku Squiggly is a really solid duo. Nice fireball. Oh, we got a. Oh, Wait. okay. There's a combo. Yeah, we mm. got a full BB. Got a B and B. That was a pretty much a B and B. Whoa! Whoa! Wake up! What was that? Oh, we've got a decent understanding right there. Okay, a parasol things. Ah, oh, we're a little too fast on the cancel though. So. Yeah, a little too fast on on the tier cancel. That's good. Fuqua neutral. So nor normally, if if you want to uh, bid your opponent to making mistakes, uh, Fuqua Fuqua's a. Uh, H ball in the air is a good way of annoying opponents to get to coming into you. They also generate using L ball in the air, so it's good. Hmm. Okay. Well, see, so, well, so we're ending on heavy moves. Remember that heavy moves are heavily punishable because they they take a long time to recover from. So your opponent can certainly you know hit a button and then you know, see a red broken heart. Be a sad time for you. Hmm. It's like they know what a burst bit is as well. Hmm. Alright then. Not bad. I also seen these two. These two seem to be in the intermediate side. We got a lot of upper people here. You'll have to see it. I was gone for a bit, 
And I'm back. Oh, is Yo-Yo gone? Oh. Yo-Yo's poofed. Goodbye, Yo-Yo. Goodbye, Yo-Yo. I was gone for a bit, so I did not see the first game. Uh, first game, uh, J2 is Fuqua Squiggly versus Parasol. Uh, and they have a decent understanding of how to use Fuqua's and click. Good stuff. Something else I would recommend is like looking at the top player for each of your characters and just seeing how they play because every single uh, character in this game luckily has a top player and you can look for them you can look for them on a tuna with bacon which is the, the professional match archive I think we might have a command for them here, actually. nice punish uh, a little too fast a little too fast with the cancels that's just character familiarity and understanding the combos what are the top players for misfortune uh people that come to mind would be uh Full bleed, PME, Elda Taluda. Yes. Or not Elda Taluda. Or I guess Elda is a full top player Elda's, portion, yeah. but yeah. I, they haven't played in a while. Yeah. I, I would stick to PME, full bleed. Um, Sunset's not bad. Sunset is also not bad. Hassan also is a fortune player, though he does not play often. Or from what I've seen, anyway. Yeah, that's decent. Yeah, Jason's doing actually. a good job of defending, but uh, like with most of the other people, um, just remembering to push block yeah. is really important, especially against Parasol. Parasol is especially susceptible to push block, mm -hmm. so just making sure to push block is very important. Yeah. But most of these people seem to, or these players seem to understand, you know, resets and um, kind of just how to do the combo. So that's very good. Do the combo. Would be great. Target confirmed. Picon has gotten some pretty good uh, spacing. <laughs> Just as I say, that's really good like spacing for Parasol because she's she's supposed to be the spacing master of all the characters in the game. Mm -hmm. But you could space out with any character in the game, obviously. But like Parasol seems to be the greatest at doing it. That's very invaluable. Right? Learning how to space your normals is uh, pretty dang important. So, um. <laughs> oh man, so. <laughs> The JHK JHP loops with Fukua are. Uh, you're, you have to. You're gonna exactly have to push real. block them. Yeah, yeah, you have to push you have block, to push block them, and then you can land cancel them. Yeah, it's it's not exactly rear pressure because there's some frames of jump startup. It takes a little bit for you to jump up to press the button and then come down with the button. So if you push block it, you can punch them. Yeah, so both these players should just be trying to there you uh, go. focus on push blocking. Or yeah, yeah. push blocking, and. Speaking of the spacing from before, kind of just going back to that, in SG, you know, you have a fine line between like spacing and giving up neutral or like giving up yeah. space. So while you obviously want to maintain, you know, footsies for your character, like especially with characters like Paris who has big disjointed normals, you don't want to just get pushed into the corner, which is kind of what I noticed happened this game, where yeah. Cone just kind of backdashed into the corner and just let J2 walk up for free. So it's important to, you know, maintain space, but you have to kind of like think of it kind of, you have to kind of think of space as almost like a resource and just yeah. make sure you're not giving up too much of it or else you're going to get put in the corner and then it can be very hard to play the game. Oh, we're not and a lot of that's so. going to come. From... Oh, sorry. No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, a lot of that's just going to come from experience, knowing when to give up space and not. And... It, it, you're just gonna have to like play more of your character to see like you know the more um, fine differences in the space and stuff. Ooh, we had a start of a BMB, but unfortunately dropped it. Is a uh, yo-yo back? Not just yet. It seems like his internet died. Um, I see. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That's wait for the back. Oh, oh. oh. He's back. The 
but yeah, a, gr- a great showing by both these players. They seem to, you know, yep. understand how to do the BMB and like the general mechanics of neutral. It's just, I think the main thing for them would be uh, pressure, uh, making sure to push block when they're getting when they're blocking. Yeah, that's something that both of them pressured. seem to struggle with. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of like a big thing: understanding when to push block, what's good to push block, if it's multi hit or not, if you should put push block on the first hit, and that kind of comes up with with match matchup experience. So the more uh, you play, the and more then you we learn. get to PVGs and whether or not you should bait those or do them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of PBGCs, Mr. Gilliar, would you like to explain what a PBGC is? <laughs> so PBGC stands for Push Block Guard Cancel. When you push block, you are set into 25 frames of block stun. Uh, during this time, uh, you are allowed to input a. Sing, like a single input that will be inputted at the end of your block streak. You will immediately come out of, if done correctly, you will flash green and immediately come out of block stun with this move. It can be quite literally anything like jump, button, special, reversal, super. Uh, raw, tag. <laughs> raw tag, if you're nutty enough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that, so that's cool. the basic gist of PBGC. Uh, it is required to punish uh, certain block strings and certain supers. Yes. So, the reason why PBGC exists is to nullify a lot of those block strings that seem impossible to get out of. Because uh, you can't stay in pressure forever, and the opponent can't feasibly pressure you forever either, either. It may be a long period of time, but it's there so you can get out when you feel like you need to get out. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and their so, PBGC Alt F4 exists. That too. I don't recommend it if <laughs> if you're feeling particularly nice to your opponent, yeah. but it does in fact exist. So, you know, PBGC is a little bit more advanced, especially to use correctly. So generally just push blocking and getting used to push blocking is the first step, and then you can start worrying about PBGC. Yeah, yeah. like as as a beginner, as a lower intermediate, you want to push block and return to neutral if possible. I just, yes. just try to push block. Uh, but now we're into the intermediates. Yeah. It's pretty good. Intermediates. Uh, I will say this. Uh, even though Philia's stand heavy punch um is for the most part safe, it can be punished by uh certain supers like Bands SSJ. True. Nice first fight. I played Mono Ooh. a couple of times. It seemed, it seemed like they they've been moving on up pretty quickly. They have good understanding of Beowulf um, and what to use when. Though combos uh, combos need to be a little bit more consistent. I mean, they understand the concept of burst bait at the very least. Yeah. If you want to explain that. Good old burst bait. So, when it, whenever your your opponent has hidden the same button twice in the same combo, purple sparks will appear. That is one form, um, and that's when you are able to press a button and you can burst out of it. It'll look like gold sparks if they're close to you, and it will be blue sparks if they've managed to get away uh, in time, uh, to which you cannot react when you've hit blue sparks, uh, and we call this a burst bait. See some blue sparks, you cannot act, trap. and then you get punished. Oh, man. Um, what are the, I mean, Mondo seems to have a really good grasp on just, like, Bayo combos and, like, mm-hmm. resets in general. But I, I think uh, for Beautiful Jam, like, um, the, the main thing I, I looked at, because I was kind of looking at chat, was, uh, you know, just ending the block string in the DP, which is really unsafe. And if you're playing Big Band, um, heavy into DP isn't a real frame trap. If you want a frame trap of that nature, you want to be using Giant Step. But I wouldn't recommend it because that's not safe on block. So sure. I would just end the block string in the medium, like I said to the, the beginners. If I remember correctly, uh, Giant Step starts at light punishable and it only gets worse the heavier you use, button you use. Yes. Yep, it is always Most punishable. Almost sure. it's... Yes, it's always punishable. You can always light punish it. Nice punish. Did, was that a land cancel or...? I think uh, that's just... No, that was just a straight punish. Yeah, that was a punish. Okay. 
Interesting trade. I'm not a master of Philly. Uh, no. So um, I can't so give Philly's JHK is, is fairly vulnerable after you've used it. Um, so she's got some landing frames to deal with. And at that, that, that point in time, you can just like for sure. I'm is not sure if a hairball with H brass is safe, but it, it looks uh, minus at best. I believe it is. Yeah. Careful it's, about rod it's tags. Like, it's like safe ish, it seems like. If you hairball and then you call the assist, I would, I would imagine that that's like safe ish. Uh, but the way it's being used right now seems uh, more like you'd be able to punish than not. Ooh, that was a cross up. Uh, that, that can be very hard to block. It's I mean, it's pretty rough to block, and I mean, blocking okay. things like that, where the the jumping hard punch crosses you up, is it's just that's just a character in game experience, <laughs> where yeah. you know, you'll recognize, oh, this is gonna hit me on the other side. Mm -hmm. But as a beat player, it's very hard to recognize that, so I don't, you know, fault you for getting hit. Oh. Okay, there's a punch. Nice being lit. Good punish. Okay. Horn crush. That, that's okay. not that's not safe against Bayo. Bayo can arm on reaction. Yeah, Bayo can absolutely arm on reaction and then pick up from there, which makes it uh, super bad on on bats abandoned. Um, I mean, I'm not affiliate master, so I'm not gonna mm -hmm. like, say this as truth, but <laughs> I would recommend just like pressing more lights in neutral. You know, like jumping in or dashing in with light, air dashing in with a light button. Yeah. Because you seem to be generally using just like heavy punch or medium punch. Medium punch is bad, especially for breaking armor, but... IAD jump light yeah. punch is OD. Yeah, yeah I would recommend using wanna... jump light punch more. Yeah. Uh, as a Philly player, you, you mostly want to be doing IAD, JLP, JLK, because those are safest shot blocks, because as soon as you land, you're just, you're, you don't have to worry about recovery frames. JMP is really good for uh, pressure and just killing any sort of armor that's happening. All right. Um, yeah. It's rough. Uh, JHP for Filio. Uh, most people use this. It's kind of like JHK for Fuqua. It's like, this is the move that you won't, you don't want to do, but it's really good. So you just do it. Um, but we would say to try to stray away from that, it's really good for, for punishes. But if anything, it's, uh, instant air dash canceling with uh, jump light kick or jump light, uh, jump light punch are pretty good. Don't forget about faking faking an overhead and going low. Because yes. I believe you can fastball with throw, right? Uh, you can fastball with JHP. So, uh, if, so what, if like, you're Philia, right? Like, and, and they're on block, right? You do your JLP, they block it, you fastball, and you can just do crouch light. It's okay. really good. That's spooky. And most people get confused because, like, oh, you're going overhead. No way you go low. Nice and fade. Yeah, there, yeah, he baited out your your punish or your yeah. Uh, DP. Yeah, he did. That was, that was gonna be a really it good DP, but it was a good it was a good idea. But I, mm -hmm. Mon, Mon doing a really good job uh, with the pressure or their pressure. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, for all the Eliza players out there, I'm gonna say this now: get out of the habit of using crouch medium kick on block. It will get you yes. killed against anyone who who can PBGC. This is true. I've seen that happen a lot online. Most people just do crouch medium kick first before doing any sort of light button. That's not great for you because then they could just push block you and then you're just dead. So, like, I'm, and, I'm almost certain the button by itself is PBG seeable. That's, yeah, it that's is. how bad you it is on block. Hit, you can punish the second one. So if you if you need to use a meter button in block strings as Eliza, uh, uh, use crouch medium punch. Yeah. Um, and I would recommend for everybody, uh, if there if if anybody has a question that we didn't really touch on, you can just always you know send us the the timestamp and we'll try to answer it to our best of our ability. Yeah. So for instance, if there was something that you felt really uncomfortable with, or like I don't know how to deal with this, you can just always ask us and we'll try to give our best advice. Yeah. In the Discord chat after the stream is over. Yeah. 
Thanks so much for playing. It's been pretty good. It's not bad. So now we have Cry Havoc versus Robbie 50. Please join up in Dango Scores Lobby. Bring this out back out into Cry versus Aunt Robbie. Cry's already here. Just blast them anyway. I've been playing, playing for a little bit, right? Yeah. Kravik's trying the uh, solo Fuqua life, so he's been asking for uh, advice. I mean, you know all about that. <laughs> <laughs> as our as our resident Fuqua made here. <laughs> he's try. He's trying. He's he's got is he's just got some habits to work through like uh, adding combos on crouch hard punch, um, and near a, um, full and dizzy just kind of. Uh, oh, uh, try to reset earlier if possible. Yeah. Yeah. This may sting a bit. It all depends on your skill. Uh, Ken Kenji's uh, dropped out of the game. Kenji did not. Does Kenji still play? He's still not plays. off. He still plays, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, I, I didn't think they played very often. So, like, our, our go-to Fuquo main is JP. Try for reset. Assist call. We are wow, that was really good, actually. The uh... falling button is amazing. Oh, wow. The fireball is a fireball block string. Which is not actually bad. Um, because Fuquo just gains meter like a, <laughs> like a mad woman. Uh, yeah, uh, if you didn't know, the amount of meter gain is based on, uh, the distance, distance of fireball traveled. Yes. Really? I did not uh, know that. What the hell? It's really, so, you being full screen and tossing off fireballs is actually really good for you. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so pay attention to, to the fireball. When it disappears, you see a small, like, a small ball travel real fast back to her. Uh, sh that's when she gains the meter. Yep. I see. Um... Uh, I guess I guess uh, since this kind of came up, we can talk about playing against sure. DP assists. So yes. DP assists are probably one of the strongest things in the game, uh, where you always have to respect their existence. So you know if you're if you see that your opponent's you know running things like uh, beat extend assist, uh, napalm pillar assist. Uh, what Do. Is, what's the what's the philia one? Up to. Do assist. Um, you always have to be respecting that and recognizing that they can be called during neutral. Ooh. Oh no. Neutral oh, or is... during pressure. <laughs> pressure. <Yeah>. And... <laughs> if, if they're confident in their ability to block. Yeah. And um, you'll, if you're pressing a button or you're, even if you're just not blocking, you'll always get hit. So learning how, so you have to always recognize that and be ready to block them. Either, there's two ways to deal with them. You can either block them. Or you could, I guess there's three, you can stuff them out, which means you could hit them during their five frames of startup, because DP assists have five frames, as opposed to normal yes. three for... Oh wow, that hit. Wow. That was to, interesting. Uh, normal three for assists. So you can hit them during their five frames of startup, you can block, or you can try to grab the point character while the DP assist is in their startup. Yeah. And all three are fine options of dealing with the DP assist, but... You just have to make sure not to be either pressing a button or not blocking while it's happening. Because you'll almost always get hit then. And getting hit by a DP assist and then losing your character, oh, it's the worst feeling. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. not that great. <laughs> Although, for the person using the DP assist, it might be a bit tricky to convert off of. Especially if you're yeah. using the very lesser known Fiber assist. Also true. Yeah, H, <laughs> H Fiber can be very hard to convert. Because uh, normally DPs put you in a, in a knockdown state. And then you you get the yellow bounce, which I mentioned earlier is a, uh, it o t you have a very short time to OTG off of. Uh, Fiber does not put you in a knockdown state. That was a great falling button by Cry Havoc there after the PBGC, yeah. er, after the PB. Unfortunately, didn't get anything, but it was a good idea. No, yes, these fireball tosses are pretty good. Uh, yeah. you're, you're using neutral to the best of your ability. Um, that's really good. Yeah, I, I want to see Ruby try to uh, try to toss out a few more uh, dead crosses yeah. in order to contest these fireballs. Yeah. Like, if not outright hit Fook, will at least nullify the fireballs. It's good push block. 
Eventually, when you when you hit more advanced play, you don't have to necessarily respect the DPS, uh, and you learn how to punish and get birthdays more consistently. Oh, that, that grab with the just... grab! <laughs> yeah, that, that whiff punished the grab. <laughs> <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh, uh, didn't end it. We had a full combo with double. We have the barrel loops. No, oh, almost. Oh no. That hit. I'm surprised that hit actually, because the distance of that super is not that great. Yeah, there it is. And that that's the exact situation we were talking about where you cannot be pressing a button like, in neutral yeah. without respect to the DP assist. Okay, um something I'm gonna mention because uh oh, someone has five thing. meters. Um yep. try to learn when you could just dump a bunch nice. of meter and just kill someone to finish the match. Nicely done cry. He got he's uh, snapped, he, or he snapped out to, to get his health back. Good. You don't want to try to drag on a match as uh, long as possible. Yeah. Like, every, every chance you leave someone alive is a chance they can make a comeback. Yeah. Nice. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Too oh no, we ended it sweep. Sweeps, and, sweeps mid combos are always techable unless it's off an OTG. Uh, I, well, the other exception being Robo. Yeah. Rubber Fortune. Pogger. That's right. Her sweep is second. <laughs> her, her sweep was specifically made to be count, uh, comboable. Level three. Well, I guess that makes sense too. Keeps it simple. If Fuku is full screen, then her reward is the chip she gets for blocking. I mean, I'm not sure what that means. I don't know what that means, yeah. And that and meter gain, yeah. Val, Val is the same way. Is you're using you're using your fireballs to pester someone to essentially approach you, and you have superior air buttons that you can use to stuff anyone trying to approach you. Yeah. At least at least the uh, uh, that's the general game plan that it, I well, see for Valentine's at Fook was. If we're gonna talk about like kind of like stuffing things out, uh, this is kind of like an advanced character, but it's probably one of the best characters in this game to dealing with DP assist because on her approach. In the air, she can press a fireball, and the fireball will be active for uh, ever until it hits, until the opponent blocks it. So as you're po approaching, you can throw out a fireball, and it'll guarantee to stuff out the DP assist. Because uh, the fireball will hit the DP assist during its active frame, while the DP's in its startup. Jesus, Beatrix and reach is so high up. It's so high. But that, that's really tough to nice do, block. especially at the beginning. That was Excellent, a... yeah. Great punish Ooh. on the Beatrix then. Mm. Oh, unfortunate drop. Mm. I understand wanting to punish that with Joe, but you might have, you might have wanted to just take the corner with the fireball super. Yeah, it just seems it seems like he's getting a little too excited. Um, so it's the same reason okay. three times. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna say try to try to vary up your reset points because I noticed uh, every single time Ruby wants to wants to grab, it's mm -hmm. off stand medium punch. Yeah, like, if, like you, if you do every the same single time, time, they can become very telegraphed. Yeah. And stand medium punch on hit is not normally plus enough to just dash up grab. Interesting. Oh, uh, you, you can OTG pick up off that. <laughs> yep. It well. should be a dead Fuku if we finish the combo. No. Nope. nope. <laughs> Unfortunate. Wow, that was really oh. good. That was a good PBG. That was a good PBG. Oh, uh, that was a nice attempt at snapping as well. Yeah, that was that. Uh, Crab, I had the right idea there. <laughs> um, uh, Ruby, if you want tips for the double the barrel loop, you're doing your when you do the the jumping heavy kick, you're doing it too late. So uh, there's no timing involved, which actually makes this combo easier. But you just need to spam all the buttons as fast as possible, at, uh, making sure not to cancel the jumping medium kick before the second hit comes out. But you just want to spam them in rotation, there's no timing. Because you're doing your jump heavy late, and that's what's making it drop. This is so, Dunce. Just, just so you know. Yeah, this is yeah. Dunce. We got Dunce okay. versus uh, Gamerloaf next. Uh, I've played Gamerloaf, they put themselves in beginner. I, I am certain that you are definitely not a beginner. <laughs> 
Oh, do do they do they actually know like full B and Bs and resets? They know things. Like they they know things. Uh, we are currently an intermediate. Yes. So feel free to talk about any of the game hmm. mechanics that uh that you want to, and feel free to ask questions. Like for sure, we'll answer it. Yeah. We'll eventually have a, a proper advanced quote unquote designation at some point. Uh, still working out the. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you got to beat me to get there. See, <laughs> <laughs> look at that round start grab. Very nice interesting. Uh, the round start air grab is definitely a hard read. That's a hard read, yeah, and he kind of has those. Uh, and that's that just seems to be like down to his player habits. Like, like that. That feels like online player habits. Uh, this is. These are all very risky options that... Um, yes. Yeah, silly <laughs> slide, not safe, even with meter. Every single option we've taken is extremely risky, and I wouldn't really actually. It. Actually, I lied. Silly slide is safe if, if you go to cat heads. But, yes. uh... Cat heads. Yeah. Yeah, like, doing... Doing Clyde there doesn't really make sense. It doesn't have invul either. Yeah. And, so... Uh, what's it called? Dunce isn't running an armor assist, so... No. Nor has, uh, any armor outside of Sekhmet. See, none of that is real, um, you can absolutely push that. You just jump yeah. that. Yeah, it... well, You can also even Rising Air to Air that. Mm -hmm. Oh. We, uh, we, we same... thought it was a tick throw. Yeah. Okay. Go back, build charge. And... The oh wow, that just clipped the climb. But <laughs> doing the the heavy kicks in neutral can be good, but you kind of want to just think about it, about why you're doing the heavy kick. Like it so, seems like a lot of the time yeah. we're just pressing heavy kick in neutral without really thinking about it, and it'll eventually get punished. It's not easy to punish, but it will eventually get punished. So there's if there's no really no reason to be just throwing it out. Like you're throwing it out at full screen when nothing's happening. Uh, I would right not recommend doing that. So and this I, is for Dunce earlier. Uh, when he when he hit a Seria Tremolo, um, he had punch charge, so he could have converted with uh, Sing SPO. Yeah. I uh, um right now um uh, I don't think your name is Gamer Loaf, but that's yeah. what I'm seeing on my screen. Oh. Uh. Yeah. No. It's not gonna push that. Uh, uh, a, I, don't, I was seems very like confused. Trying just to try it. <laughs> oh, very Wait, nice. Good idea to use the boat to try to punish the, the jumping heavy kick because Avery is a projectile, and just like 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 I'm saying, you know, when you're pressing buttons over and over again, you will eventually get punished. Yeah. So just think about the reason you're pressing buttons in neutral, you know, like like if there's no reason to be pressing a button or like you're like confident, well, this isn't really going to hit. I'm just pressing it because hey. I want to press buttons. Hey, yeah. JP. Yeah. Can we add one exhibition match at the end? Sure. Like Barry versus Yo-Yo? <laughs> yeah, Barry wants to fight me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, you guys should give Barry advice. All right. <laughs> we'll give Barry advice speaking just try to think about why you're pressing a button because you're pressing yes. way too many buttons for no reason at all and you're gonna get punished with them yeah indeed yeah like, uh, doing, especially doing uh, right like, especially if you ever run into someone who just has a dp assist like pressing random buttons will get you hit especially against yes. beat extend and it seems like love uh, has you... some like good sensibilities but it, it just seems like they're just they're like yeah, from, like they understand. Like if you if you want to run away with double, Avery's the way to go. Yeah. Like. Oh man, Dunce is just getting hit by these DPs. Yeah, that's just been DP assist or DP calls. Yeah. Uh, I. I don't know enough about Fortune to to just say. Uh, I think we need safer pressure. Just safer pressure. Mm -hmm. And baiting out more more uh, matches see, like see, that. See, like Clyde right there made no sense for you to do because it, it, you weren't. It wasn't your turn, so doing Clyde like that is definitely not a, not a great idea. Mm. Stagger pressure by Dunce. Uh, mm -hmm. 
if you are not confident in your uh what's it called oh, I see. and your stancil uh Stand. combos just confirm it is silver cord it's less damage but it's consistent yeah the the way you're pressing buttons especially with like the amount of time you've been dp'ing against like better players you're gonna explode so i would try to break the habit while you can this is like peak like qm warrior type uh, yeah. habit <laughs> It's like you've been playing on QM for quite some time. You see some things that work on people, uh, and they may not be of, of the same skill level, level that you'd be used to. Yeah, once you, once you start like you know getting into or starting fighting better players, none of this is gonna work. Um. Yeah, that's. I also notice. <laughs> that was left field. I also notice uh, what's it called? Um, Dunce is kind of scared to go for overheads as quickly. Yes. Good block. Yeah. Like, it's just been, like, tick lows. Like, frame trap lows. But I haven't seen a single overhead, I think. And, I mean, I mean, yeah. this is kind of, like, ob um, more base for Dunce, you know I mean? He's been pressing a lot of buttons. I would just try <laughs> to call them out with, like, Fiber. I don't think I've seen you do Fiber once this match. No. So, yeah. just, you just you just gotta throw out the Fiber. I mean, Fiber by itself is already a rel a, one of the hardest DPs to punish. So just just throw out the fiber. There's nothing to lose when your opponent's playing this disrespectful. And man, I wish the... my DP was plus on whiff. <laughs> <You're right>. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, Fortune's DP is plus on whiff because <laughs> she could just go straight to the air. Oh, birthday! Like uh, you can the only real way to punish fiber is to, um. Is to have an already active like hitbox in it that's uh disjointed or and just block would, it. Uh, for Dunce, I would recommend just holding like hard calling out um uh, a DP. Oh either with the burst bait or just like Yeah, there there was a burst bait there. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. They've been pressing a uh L bomber every single time. There's no reason not to yeah. burst bait them. Nah, that 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 didn't seem like you didn't have the confidence to continue or he did the wrong yeah, move uh... and then just, just stopped. And I mean, and now we're now we're finally seeing some adaption from Dunce, where there it is. You know, he's punishing out those these random flies. He's punishing the random button hits in neutral. And this is exactly the there reason why is. you shouldn't just you know. We dropped the combo. Unfortunate. Yeah, this right. was a dead character too. This is a dead fortune if we finish our combo. No, can't finish oh, the no. combo. <laughs> oh, oh god! Oh DHC god! Out. Oh god! What's happening? DHC out. I think we could have. I think you could have. Uh, we could have gotten a. Could have gotten a lady oh. of slaughter. Oh really? I would have recommended it a level level three, but either would have worked. Uh, well, you would you would take a chunk of damage as Eliza, but the SBO would still be out there. You could recall while SBO is hitting, and then get a full That's combo true. punish afterwards. Fuzzy's done that to me. I could. There it is. Yeah, I'm not understanding the the random cilia slides. Yeah, the Clydes are kind of unusual, and they'll definitely get you killed. Like, because it's not a it's not a reversal move. Like, it's it's a fast low special, uh, breaks armor, but yeah, uh, Dunce's team doesn't use armor, and you can't break Sekpin's armor. So, like, the armor-breaking properties are functionally useless. Yeah. Our next, Mo versus Doc, and they're already ready. We're all up oh, break. is Mao going to play his trio team? I wonder if they're going to play the trio team and just do Bella ban, but I feel like the Parasol is a good addition. I mean, anything goes well with that shell. Yeah. Heck, and Gelato proves that one, because, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> pain wheel. Oh, Excuse pain me. wheel. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, big old brass. You gotta be careful. Oh, we so were we definitely trying to land out the little button. Uh huh. Confirm. Good idea. And to full combo here. Reset. All right. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice tick throw. And now we're just and now we're just watching like mix happening, you know. Like yeah. there's not much to say. See, it's just you're getting. This mixed. is where you need to finish your food. 
You didn't need um, to do all that. I don't think he was confident last string into Dynamo would have killed. I was pretty sure it was going to die. He's... he's I'm definitely like, confident it would have. It, it was close. Um, for Doc, after after arm uh, on hit, you can always confirm into monster, and that'll actually like give you a combo instead of doing card. Yeah. So that's just... Oh my goodness. That's just something that to keep was in mind. Uh, we are in match... One. Eight? Uh, Eight oh, out of I ten. Have no idea for... and, and we're in the intermediate bracket right now. Yep. And uh, uh, dealing with pressure after blocking an assist is something I guess we should talk about at this stage. Which and, and I mean it applies to everybody, but after you block an assist, you always have the choice of push blocking the assist hit or not. And push blocking the assist hit gives you absolute guard, but at the end you have to hold another mix up. Whereas not push blocking it, you can immediately like press a button or mash, but you can also just like get called out for it, and that's just like a risk because your opponent is plus after you block an assist. So yep. you can, so it's just it's all a mind game after blocking an assist, and you have to make the conscious choice of thinking: Should I push block this assist hit or not? Should I push block? Should I attempt a reversal and catch both of them at the same time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I mean, this and this is like most prevalent, I would say, with beat extend. This mind game is the biggest yeah. beat extend. Wow, that deflector was uh, a couple frames too early. Yeah. Oh, nice punish. I'm not sure what we're going for there. Neutral grab will never punish that, but. Uh, yeah. I think he meant to jump up air grab. Mm, that makes sense. Like, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Yeah. Graham giving out OD advice, so man. <laughs> Nom life. I mean, Graham's a good player. No, Nom life, let true. me give you some advice. Have you considered not playing Eliza? <laughs> that's pretty... Eliza's great, what do you mean? Nothing wrong with Eliza, <laughs> not like her DP's awful. Mm. I mean, it's not like her DP can be reflected. Smile. <laughs> Uh, okay, for, for anyone wondering, uh, Eliza's DPs are considered projectiles, so yes. you can, in fact, reflect <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah, that's not, not great, where every other DP in the game, you know, is actually just not a projectile. <laughs> nice oh my that was actually was good. Very, that was really good. Very good diamond drop. <laughs> oh, man, the conversion. Oh, nicely no, done. I've never seen that before. That's optimal conversion right there. I've never oh, seen the that before. Let me pick up. I there think you that'll... go. Oh, That's I need to. I should go find the video on how to punish Airwolf for people. But he didn't punish. Uh, it's him. probably on on the wiki, to be honest. Yeah, there's a there's a video that shows everybody's options for punishing Airwolf. Uh, a lot of them are meter based. A lot of them are not meter based. And grab. Uh, it depends on what you can do. Mix. Mix. You hold that anyway. Yep. Mix. Low throw. Yeah. You just have to hold it. Yeah, and that's we'll get the Kenshiro um, gift. For anyone that doesn't know, uh, after you, uh, when you're down backing, so you're blocking low, uh, you cannot tech throws. And that is like the most basic <coughs> mix up in this game. You're either yes. going to block a low and where you can't tech a throw, or you're going to tech a throw, but then that means you're either stand blocking or up backing and where you get hit by the low. And that is that's the most, amazing. oh my goodness. That's the most basic yeah. mix in this game. Oh no, my own. god. Caught him not blocking. Oh, we could have uh, done a um, forward hard punch there. Battle butt, battle butt, battle, battle butt. butt. I mean, yeah, battle battle at this point, doing battle, battle butt over and over is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to parry the battle butt. Uh, Need silly. the points. That's real. Uh, yeah, so and basically every game. Business? Yeah. So battle butt well, has a property where... And then you get the parry OS because you're big band. Poggers. Yeah. But... For the most part, it's strike throws the most basic with in every and then in every game, including Skullgirls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna mention that uh, Battle Butt has a property where, uh, if the opponent is low enough on health, it will do increased damage. It does. Just straight up increased yes, damage. It does. I didn't yes, know that. <laughs> because because yeah. Mike. <laughs> uh, that's that's actually what what helps signify the points too. Yeah. 
Um, like, I would just, for Doc, honestly, I would kind of just recommend mashing. Like, throughout all these games, Mo has just not done a single burst bait and has reset you every single time. At some yeah, point, like, you just call them out and mash. You need, you need to start calling out these resets with reversals. Yeah. Like, at, at least to make Mo oh think goodness. about it. I mean, that was weird looking. Like, you could have the best reversals in the world, but, uh... If you're never willing to use them, then why should the opponent ever be scared? Oh, I think that was supposed to be... Uh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. That was supposed to be a Seracopter. Oh, I see. Uh, it's it's a TP motion, so... Oh my god. Oh, it's it's pretty weird on block, or on, on hit. Like, it has such a big hitbox compared to how big the mail looks. <laughs> yeah. She needs... She needs it. It indeed. definitely does need it. I'm not going to disagree. It is just a little <laughs> weird. Hey, uh, why does the game explicitly lie uh, about Elbow having uh, a hitbox on the arm? On That's the hat arm. Right. <laughs> like, you can use it in a burst bait. Even, um, even though the burst would explicitly hit the part where the game says it has a, a hurt box. Uh, Doc, this is some uh, big band specific knowledge for you. But there... You had a few options of what you could do to better capitalize on that uh, happy birthday combo. So, you did a full combo into SSJ, which is okay. I mean, you know, you get some damage on band. So that not doesn't do it. win. Yeah, that doesn't win. It has full invuln until it ends. That's I'm pretty sure Painwheel also has like four hits of armor on that level three. <laughs> that has armor? I thought it just invuln. It has armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has armor. But, um, on that happy birthday, what you could have done, you could have either done Stand medium kick, slight delay into SSJ. One hit of stand medium kick with a slight delay into SSJ. And that makes the combo drop on the point on the, the assist while comboing on the point. So it resets the scaling on the assist, and the assist takes full SSJ damage while the point can't do anything about it. And that's one thing you could have done. Something else you could have done is you could do, and this is riskier, you can do launcher into H-Train, no E-Break, you just do H-Train. And then you immediately cancel it into SSJ. And that resets on both the characters. But if your opponent sees it coming, they can block the SSJ. But it's almost nobody does it. So it's not like, I don't think people will be ready for it. And mm -hmm. that'll reset on both the characters and do full SSJ damage to both of them. And that would be like a great way to capitalize on the, um, the happy birthday. But yeah, just knowing like when, how you can decombo your string into a super on a happy birthday with Big Band in particular is pretty important. I would say. She's and But that's sweet. like character's knowledge that's pretty deep, you know? Like, don't worry yeah. about it too much. That's true. So now we have Vincent, which is Peepo. This is Derb. Uh, Derb is an interesting player as they refuse to use <sighs> any of the beams as Robo Fortune because uh. they think they're cheating. So. It, it, <laughs> unless... Unless it is specifically the red and black Robo Fortune, in mm -hmm. which case that that is Shinderb, and all reservations about Beam are out the window. Ah, is that the new lore? Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. like there's like three Derb colors. There's like the white and blue one that I use, yeah. which is like normal Derb, and then there's like the the gray one, or like there's like a grayish one. And that's mm -hmm. like they use beams, and then the red one is like they use a zoner or something. I don't really know how it works, but okay. there's there's cool. lore behind the herb colors. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know all the lore myself, but I but I at least know that much. <laughs> it's it's quite strange, but I guess it's pretty fun. Oh, look, well, uh, I'll, I'll put it this way: Derb has lost attorney matches because he's refused to beam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where like the beam would like they had like the opponent has like a sliver of health. No, the opponent's the on incoming. Is... If you beam, they die. Yes. Derb goes for the mix up. Uh huh. Um, I have no <laughs> idea how how long ago this was said, but Dunst said like they have no confidence in their characters. But um, you know, you you just gotta be willing to take risks. Like when you play safe and like just do nothing, you're gonna end up losing anyway because you're not utilizing all the tools your character has. So. You just gotta be confident with what you have and go from there. If you lose, you lose, you know? But you have to actually use the character's <laughs> options. 
people. People has been here for quite some time. Uh, wide like, people. Oh, any use. any wide people happy users in chat or what? Is it, do we have a, a better Twitch TV emotes here? Yes, we do. Should do at least. Should. It should be enabled. But will it beat this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably no not. wide people happy. Ah, uh, you're sad. Oh, I inputted it wrong. No, we have no wide people happy. Preferable so you don't confuse. Hate to see it. Okay, we have no IP and pool. Excellent name. <laughs> That's a oh wow! Game. I'm still attempting to join the match. <laughs> well, yo, yo, that sounds like a you problem. It really does. Oh, something Video else girls? about the derb lore is even if he's not using like the the red color, he'll do beam supers, and I don't know how that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like cheating. Yeah, beam supers are kind of cheating, IMO. Like, honestly, it should only be magnets and uh, install. I mean, if you really think about it, Crouching Media Punch is also a beam that comes out of her eye. <laughs> no, if, you, if we think about it as well, uh, Jump Heavy Punch is uh, a short range beam. This is true, this is true. A throw is also a beam. A ground yeah. throw? He, he can't ground throw either. I will be right back. I feel like we need to oh wow, what a call out. Here. That was quite I've been, Wait, I haven't been looking at the match at all. I was just talking about Derb lore. <laughs> I've spent quite the call out. You currently the Derbs on the... Uh... That was a really risky call out. Um, yeah. the, the the way I would do it is I would... You have three heads, so I would just do uh, rockets or missiles into level one. And that keeps it safe while doing the same thing. You know, just checking to see if your opponent's blocking. Because in case anybody didn't know, on Super Flash, if you're not blocking, Robo uh, Beam Super will always hit you. Yeah. Nice I'm conversion. Back. I'm not gonna lie, I hate the Earthworm Jin skin. What's, what's, not many people like it. The, the, only, the only reason I don't like it is the invisible head. I mean, yeah, that's the main reason why nobody likes it. It's just the head is invisible. What's, 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 what's this, uh, skin called? Uh, it's it's from Earthworm Jim. Oh, oh. Yeah, and I don't understand <laughs> the reason for the head then. Just... Yeah, because uh, <laughs> it's Leviathan. Oh, that doesn't make much sense. I don't I don't like the invisible head. <laughs> yeah, Squiggly's Squiggly's head doesn't exist because uh, <laughs> Leviathan is supposed to be Jim. <laughs> that's, that's why that's why the skin was originally cut. Okay. And they could have redesigned it to look a little better. It's, it doesn't look like much sense. Still, it's, it's I'm the so see, mad yeah. that Squiggly got the Ronald McDonald skin, not the actual clown I'm of the mad game. As well, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Why didn't oh, hey, hey. on brand one? <laughs> I want off brand. Oh, we've completely switched the team. Okay, this is now the other team that people runs. That's a birthday. So I mean, th just just seeing how like you get happy birthday. At the start of it, both games, I mean, immediately what comes to mind is you're using too many committal options at round start. Yeah. And I mean, get, getting happy birthday by Robo Fortune round start is not something that you should, you know, really ever happen to you. But so it's also not the worst thing in the world because uh, Robo's corner carry options aren't very good. Yeah, this is true. Uh, that was uh, after, after throw, if your opponent has head, you should always be a, uh, or after saw, excuse me. After you block saw and your opponent has a uh, head, you should generally almost always be throw punishing. Good confirm. Like, that was legitimately a confirm off, off, uh, delayed yeah. light. Um, I would, like, uh, try to refrain from using h Bang like, ever in neutral, unless you're confident that you're, like, you're gonna be full screen and they're gonna block it. In which case, it's fine. But h Bang is extremely minus on hit. 
or and block and hit. So just. You want to know the exception to this rule? When you yes, yes, I know yo yo. When when the squiggly does the. the if you think squiggly is gonna do charge sing in the SVO. Because uh, if she exactly. does it, uh, H Bang will H Bang will trade with the with that's, uh, Squiggly. That's wild. Okay. Ooh, good DP. Because the projectile yeah, travels fast button. enough. Level three. Doing the fortune level, level three one. at the end of the combo always feels bad because your combo's already fully scaled. You're missing out on a lot of the level three. Damage. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention something for for everyone, and it's because I do it all the time. If you're going to DHC into comboable supers, uh, try to DHC before your end dizzy gets to full. Yeah. Uh, you get more damage that way. Hey, scaling will reset. Yeah, scaling resets better that way. That link always looks so weird to me. Standing medium kick into jab. Yeah. Oh man, this is cheating, Derb. I saw a beam super. Is this the thought... derb gimmick that says I just play heads? I guess so. Mm. I play heads and, and just do jump medium punch quote unquote mix, which is not. Jump mix medium right punch mix. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, those are cannons, <laughs> not beams. What? But they're, <laughs> they're cannons that shoot beams. What does that mean? It's yes. a giant <laughs> beam cannon. <laughs> beam cannon. What do you, I don't know. What do you That's want? <laughs> Technically, I guess, if you think about it, every time Robo Fortune does like L or N beam, there's a cannon coming out of her arm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could call it a light eater and it wouldn't change it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Get out of here with this shit. <laughs> okay, now yeah, someone's gonna have a petition now to change Robo's beam names to light eater. Just because I said that. <laughs> I'm just unlocked dirt beans. Dirt beans? He's got beans now? Beans, beans not allowed? I mean, this has always been one of Dirt's main problems, but having optimal combos as a solo Robo Fortune with no beams is pretty important. That's like the only place where your damage is coming from. And these uh, jump medium kick, uh, jump heavy kick loops are not it. For. They're like the. Sorry. For... Uh, For yeah, people, uh, a lot, a lot of the reason you're you're getting hit is because of uh, you're you're whiffing pressure or ending it unsafe. And then, and, I mean, I mean, right there, like, just, like armors through it or something. Um, yeah. So, for example, uh, well, this is kind of different, but on that jump heavy kick block where he crossed you, where Derb crossed you up, you should have push blocked it immediately, so you don't have to throw, you don't have to hold a low throw. So just knowing to like push block, like pre having doing preemptive push blocks can be hard and a little risky, but especially with characters like Robo Fortune who have like big telegraph buttons that are gonna hit you, just preemptively push blocking is very important, so you don't have to hold a low throw. Got some health back, I guess. Oop. Does anyone what? chat want to hear something interesting about Robo that all the Robo players don't want you to know? <gasps> what is it? Beams are always minus, even on hit. Of no, not air are. beams. Air beams are actually plus on hit and <laughs> block, but ground beams. Uh, ground are minus ground beams are always minus. Uh, minus. Uh, yeah. On hit is minus one. Hilariously enough. Yep. So uh, if they hit you with that, it's your turn. Ground beams are awful. Don't 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 do ground beams on Robo Fortune kids. Don't 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 use don't use beams on the ground. And, and this is why uh, TKM beam is one of Robo's like. Like all, Robo's main zoning tool because it actually has good frame data instead of just like spamming L beam. You know that's why you do auto do TK M beam. That's true. Um, I also want people to make more use of, oh, uh, like in when when you get a hit confirm. Uh, I noticed a lot of the time when you got a late hit confirms, you would have four meter. Uh, yeah. please dump some of that. Your peacock, you will build yeah. it back very fast. Very fast. Isn't she's, the H air one the only plus one? No. Uh, no, I don't I'm know pretty about, sure that's uh, minus on hit, isn't it? I don't know about H. I've never really bothered to look at that frame data because you don't really use it in neutral. But L is plus four on hit. I know that. A a air L beam, it's like plus four or plus five on hit. I will look it up right now. 
Um, uh, Rick says, what can you do about it? Okay, so uh, I guess this is a good time to start talking about frame data, which honestly, it's a little late, but... Um, yeah, Airbnb's yeah, like 4-4. Four, it's fine. It's fine if it's a little late. You know, you, you, you got to be a real one. Stick around for the entire street. <laughs> but uh, when you're minus, when you're minus, it means that uh, the opponent has gotten out of like blocks them <coughs> faster than you have gotten out of your uh, hit. Or what is it called? Like your ending hit frames, or I guess? blocks done. It's either yeah, hit or blocks done. Yeah. So your opponent yeah. has recovered faster, and that means they have more time to press a button than you. And generally, that means like they it's their turn which means they can press a button and they and you have to block because if you try to press a button um their button will or is like guaranteed to come out faster and there are exceptions to this it's with like hard call out moves like like specifically ssj comes to mind but um, oh and any invincible reversals yeah really but um for the most part if you're minus your turn has ended and now your opponent gets to press like a jab on you and start beginning pressure, and that's what that means when you're minus on hit. But uh, I mean, there are there are things that kind of break this rule, and I mean, invincible reversals are one of them, and uh, reversal assists or DP assist is another one of them. So even if you're minus on hit, if you call a DP assist, you're, it's still your turn. So yeah. that, that I mean, this this kind of goes back to the initial thing uh, we were talking about like 30 minutes an hour ago about dealing with DP assists. Yeah. We've come to the, right. end of the event. By the Thank way, you so yo, yo, it's your exhibition match now. But it's your yeah. exhibition yeah. time now. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Uh, Thanks, everybody, for very... tuning in. This is not an exhibition match. match. Yeah, the, 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 the actual get great part of get great is now over. So uh, you, should, you should still give Vary advice. Yes, no, definitely. All right, uh, because Vary has trouble against this team. Well, are you going to play Peacock team? No, I'm playing my Parasol team. No, just, no. Very struggles against this team. Okay, he punches the assist. I mean, he oh, he just got hit by a fucking because. heavy punch. Yeah. He just got hit by a terrible <laughs> standing heavy punch in neutral. I don't think there's much advice to give there. Like, I don't know what your press is, but it's pretty rough. Nice block. He has to hold that assist. That's a good punish. Nice patience. Oh my god. Dude, so, very fucking went yeah, We got a little too antsy. He, he, went, he wanted to get the the punish to make it enforce his turn there, there are moments in this game where you can absolutely force it to be your turn instead of the opponent's turn um but those also comes with risks because if the opponent knows that, that that's gonna take place they can just as easily oh. block whatever you're gonna do and then just now it's your not your turn again <laughs> unless you have cat heads so, yeah, that's true unless not unless you have cat heads cat heads is built different different <laughs> that's true that was wild See, now it's not his turn because what he, he tried to go for armor instead. A lot of madness right now. Uh, okay. Oh my god, Can't he got blasted. Him. Nice conversion. I mean, a lot. I mean, most of this game is just Barry having to hold corner pressure, and I mean, getting hit in the corner. While there are things you can do, it's not. It's generally not like always your fault, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. this is one of those moments Skull girls where happens and you don't block it. Please, please kill my character. Please. No. Oh my god. And here's Barry. another moment where where it matters at what point that you drop. You always need to finish your food, even if you want yeah. to just be out memeing. Um, that means that uh, the opponent now has another chance. Oh, that was that was very good reaction to the bush block. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The opponent has a chance to just uh, save their character. If, if you happen to drop because you didn't finish your food or you know they could just get away with anything else yeah you always gotta try to finish your combos in like carry situations that the combo will kill nice that yeah. was good use a multi hitting move to stuff the armor yeah you did not want that to combo <laughs> see no I, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no I didn't but uh I made it look like <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> I was like, surely he won't expect me to do it again. Is this like a first to three, or like, what is, what, what is that? Yeah, it'll be, first to, it'll be a first to three. Okay. No, no, if it's an exhibition, it's three flat matches. Oh, okay, you're right. Sure. Three, <laughs> three flats. Let's see what happens. Come back here. I'm... Uh...
please Barry, please, please beat me in one of these. Like, I'm not gonna go easy on you, but please beat me in one of these. So it's like, I, you're just not released from this terrible game. <laughs> I oh, did not expect that's gonna have punch to hit. I think yeah. Barry tried to land cancel it and didn't expect you to just keep the stringing. Yeah. Oh. That hit. I can't believe that hit, dude. <laughs> nice. And I mean dealing with parasol pressure, like like with the uh like uh inter Oof. intertwining like tears and a crouching medium punch is pretty hard. You have to try to push block yeah, it, like out block her out. Yeah. So, because Parasol is extremely just uncomfortable mm -hmm. once you're like directly above her. Oh, very, yeah. very nice. Let's get confirmed. Okay. No, no groceries. The Gamba? Or was that supposed to be like a, some sort of grocery set? That's a oh, birthday. No. Bam. If you want. Uh, if you're wondering why I hesitated, uh, that was me trying to confirm how much beater I had. That's fair, yeah. He tried to PBGC see and you just stuffed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, Pain Wheel is just suffering. Yep. Pain Wheel doesn't have like, very good really reverses. Is. I uh, thought he had like, like some crazy shit like 8 frames. Yeah. Um. Her, her only real pseudo reversal is like doing level three, or you could also death crawl, but that's risky because there's I don't death crawl is extremely good. risky. Like yeah, it's it's no a reversal. It's not a good one. Is the problem? Yeah, it's not a good reversal. I think death no PBGC death flashing. crawl is like it's pretty raw. Yeah, it's like it's like using Val supers. They're technically <laughs> reversals. If you AKG <laughs> in the air, it's not very yeah. good. Like it's got iframes. It's got iframes, but I think it's just one frame of, of invincibility. Like, like EKG is a better reversal than Death Crawl, though, for sure. Yeah, nice. Good from the height, but you didn't confirm. Oof. Oh, uh, I try. I tried to air grab. Yeah, no, well, that's a punish. <laughs> yeah, very, 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 like trying to call you out too much on these uh, PBGCs. Yeah. But yo yo, an experienced veteran recognizes the PBGC coming and uh, yeah. chooses not to press the button, and then punish the DP. No, no confirm. Oh crap! Armor. Oh, the, oh wow! Oh, the armor. Okay. Uh, I, I really thought armor. I really thought it was gonna just beat it out straight up. Yep. Ah, uh, go low. That's a low. Yeah. Just, just follow the sage advice. Just go low. Just go low. Go low is important. Uh, go low. I want to up back. <laughs> just let me up back. Oh <laughs> what the fuck? Nice, good, good double jump backwards. <laughs> That's a punish. What are you doing? Just, just it, was to to that guy. it was supposed to be my uh, guy, but uh, okay. he already ha already used Egret. Yeah. Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm OD. Nicely done. You, You're toxic, very that's OD. what you are. Can't confirm. Fearlessly. <laughs> he just got dragon fighter like three times in that combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, oh I thought it was gonna finish. be another one. <laughs> no. Nope. I, I was you, baiting you another think, one. You would think there would have been another one, but... Uh, Dragon Strike, Dragon Strike. Was that a reversal? Uh, which uh, was what a reversal? Not uh, quite sure what you mean. Goodbye. Oh Do they know? God. They don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> no, they don't know. For those who don't know, for Swiggly Level 3, if she happens uh. to do Level 3, <laughs> the orb will pass over. Wait, you. You I've locked over her head. Why did I opponent. get hit? You can snap Swiggly to actually <laughs> remove the ball off screen. Daisy, at that Come point, on, was Mary, please kill me. Don't let me do this Thank to you. you. For the follow. No, he's dead. Easy. Is this like a noob tournament? I mean, no. no this we're, is not this, a noob we're just no. Kinda, this is a get great where we match people against equally skilled opponents. All right, GG's very. very. Oh, and with the that, minus. that marks the end of the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, it used to be a thing where we, we would do. Uh, 
uh, an open lobby at the end of streams. Um, we got things to do. Maybe next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been pretty, pretty awesome. Thank you, Yo-Yo. Thank you, Graham, for the uh, commentary we'll assist. Be on. Been pretty dang cool. Uh, be here. here to check out the tournament we hold on Wednesdays. Yep. Where you get to show beaten. off all the skills you learn from today. And if you want to join in next time, we hold these every Saturday, except on the fourth Saturday, which is a lab stream. Unless we don't do that yes. anymore. I don't know if we do that. I mean, we'll still do lab streams. Like, that's kind of important to just have information readily available. The lab streams are answering questions that, well, you would probably lab out normally. Yep. And demonstrate uh, the solutions to any of the questions. What I learned today was how to run into Clyde. Unfortunate. You just have to kind of block it. <laughs> That, that really you just kind of have like, to block it to either or avoid it and punish it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it's not too hard. It's just like, I, I think I think it was like the shock factor of just like seeing yeah. someone spam slide over and over you again. Were, you were doing it on the last game. Yeah. And he also retired? Uh, I don't know. That's Yeah, Penny's retired Penny. until any release. Yeah. I see. This, this is fine. But thanks everybody for stopping by. See you at the Wednesday tournament. Bye everybody.